Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you are a first year BDA student struggling with dental anatomy and dental histology, that is DATH, I have got to cover. So as you know, exams are nearby and you are very stressed about your exams. So I have brought you a perfect 5 day plan in which you can revise or you can complete entire DADH syllabus and you can study effectively instead of studying randomly. So let's get started. So here is the 5 day DADH completion plan. On day 1 you will do dental anatomy basics. Uh, you will revise entire dental anatomy, all the morphology of the teeth, the basic introduction chapter and the occlusion, concepts of occlusion because occlusion is a very important topic. So here I have written that you need to focus on both morphology and dentition, start with primary and then permanent dentition, then chronology of eruption, eruption is also very important chapter. Then morphology of incisors, canines, premolars and molars. These are frequently asked in exams, you know. Okay, then make simple diagrams while reading because drawing diagrams in exams will fetch you more marks. Uh, then end of the day, revise occlusion, basics like Kowalski, Wilson and rest all topics. On day 2 will be dental histology. So uh, first day you will do basic concepts of dental histology like enamel dentine and pulp, read their development, structure and clinical consideration. Clinical consideration is very important. You should know that and uh, if you write that in answers, it will give a good impression to the examiner that you know the clinical topics also. These three topics are very high yield. Many, marks from, uh, many questions come from uh, these three topics. Use short notes and flowcharts to simplify long processes like amylogenesis and dentinogenesis this too is very important and can come as LEQs also so you need to know this and don't skip diagrams again i'm saying that diagrams is like life saver in this logic answers then comes day three on day three you will again do dental histology uh, the remaining topics of dental histology that is cementum periodontal ligament or omm and salivary glands uh, SAQs mostly come from this topics and OMM is like frequently asked LAQ topic. So make sure you know the difference between lining, masticatory and specialized mucosa and revise cementum and PDL with their clinical importance. Again clinical importance is very important over here. So till day 2 most of uh, sorry till day 3 most of your topics will get covered. On day 4, we will do embryology and the dental anatomy traits. Uh, on day 1, we uh, study morphology of all the teeth, but on day 4, you do the traits of all the teeth uh, that will help you fetch, uh, revise more about the teeth. On day 4, you do oral and facial embryology, focus on development of face, palate, tongue, teeth, and pharyngeal arches. Also do the tooth development chapter very properly. LAQ come from this chapter and I have uploaded the series of the entire chapter in my channel. Do watch if you find this chapter difficult. These are common long answer questions. Quickly glance to the anomalies also because anomalies is also very important to write in exams like cleft, left, cleft, palate, microdontia and macrodontia and do the traits of all incisors, canines, premolars and molars. On day 5, keep revision and previous year's question. On final day, you will do question answer format. It means you need to do everything in question answer format as this is going to be theory exam based. Pick up old university question paper. If you are from Maharashtra University, do Bhalani. If you are from other universities, do your own university's question, previous year's question paper because it is very important question banks and uh, practice framing answers. Revise diagrams again and again. I can't emphasize more on how much diagrams are important in theory answers. Then uh, like tooth morphologic outlines, enamel, rods, dentines, sections and stages of development of tooth enamel. This will give you confidence to write exa uh, exam. Okay. 
so this is a proper five day plan you can follow for getting more marks and you can complete your entire dental anatomy and dental histology syllabus and also if you have completed already you can revise in this way which will be helpful for you thank you